Sizing the components of a microgrid can be tricky, especially for systems with high share of renewable energies or with energy storages. In this video I show you how to size a microgrid using NPro and how to determine, for example, how much photovoltaic area and battery capacity should be installed. Hi and welcome to this NPro tutorial. I'm Marco and in this video we will go through the process of sizing a microgrid system. I will show you step by step how you can use NPro to dimension generation and storage technologies, which can also include hydrogen or thermal technologies. Let's take a closer look at how that actually works in the tool. For sizing the components of a microgrid, we use the Energy Hub module. Um, then we create a new project. Um, for the microgrid, I choose uh, island systems with hydrogen demand. Um, I say create new project and here we can change the system. Um, I will add a electricity demand, deactivate all the hydrogen technologies, activate the connection to the electricity grid and to complicate it a little bit, um, we will have a heat demand and the power to heat technology. Um, of course we can change the uh, technology parameters of all the components, for example, uh, photovoltaic. Uh, we can change the module efficiency, the orientation, etc. Um, we can also uh, directly generate the, uh, the profile of uh, PV. Um, then on the uh, bottom table here, we can uh, define the demand profiles. Uh, usually we would upload the profile that we uh, want to use, um, but here I just use the default profiles of NPro. Um, then we can modify the electricity grid, um, so the supply price, the fit-in tariff. Um, we could also activate um, capacity limitations or capacity prices, um, but I will use an easy use case here. Uh, that I click on size technologies and then we um, get the optimal sizing of the system. Um, we see that uh, we allowed um, 10,000 kilowatt peak uh, for photovoltaic, but we only installed, or the tool only installed 300 kilowatt peak. Um, for wind power, um, the optimization um, installs a full um, the full interval here, 1000 kilowatt electric and an electric heater of 683 kilowatt thermal. Um, we could change the uh, capacities if we want to. Uh, let's make PV a little bit larger here uh, and then click on simulate system operation. And then we will see how the system operates over the entire year. So in which hour the photovoltaic uh, modules um, produce electricity, in um, which hours the electric heater is operated. Um, so there are the results of the operation. Um, first we see the energy flows. So um, we already see that wind power has the largest uh, share of the electric uh, generation. And of course the uh, electric heater was the heat demands uh, and a small uh, proportion comes from the electricity grid. Um, if we go with the mouse over the energy flows and we see also the um, quantities. Um, on the bottom we can uh, visualize all the demand uh, or all the profiles of the technology. So for example uh, for photovoltaic we can um, visualize the generation um, for wind power, we can do the same. We can also visualize it as an annual profile and um, zoom in. Mm, on the right hand side, we have the table with the KPIs for all technologies. So, electric heater, for example, full load hours, how much heat is generated, etc. Um, if we click on summary, we see which technologies and generate which proportion of the demand. Um, so for example, for electricity, 
um, we see that 75% comes from renewable electricity generation and um, that photovoltaic uh, generates 11% and 65% are covered by wind power. Um, then we have a look uh, at the emissions. Um, 336 tons of CO2 uh, is uh, produced over the year and we also see the primary energy. Um, in the second view, in the economic results, we see if uh, the system is profitable or not. In this case, um, the revenues are larger than the costs, so this system would be profitable. Mm. We have the table with the cash flow, um, the visualization of the cash flow over the project duration. Um, we have the investments um, listed. We have the energy costs, in this case only electricity imports. Um, the operational costs, so maintenance costs in this example here. Um, and the revenues, and the revenues are electricity feed-in. Um, and we defined the feed-in tariff in the settings before, um, but also the uh, revenue for covering the heat demands of the system and the electricity demands. And this value um, does not change the optimization results because the demands have to be uh, covered um, whatever the system looks like. So um, we can change the uh, revenue or the compensation here uh, let's put in uh, 8 cent per kilowatt hour and then the revenue will change here and also you, the results uh, that we saw before will directly change. For example, this uh, figure here. Um, we can also download all the results as an Excel file. Um, then we have the uh, summary um, and the economic results in this Excel file, but we also have the um, the profiles of all technologies um, listed with uh, an hourly resolution. So um, this helps to uh, create our own um, demands and our own um, yeah, our own figures um, if we want to do a further analysis of the results. If you have any questions or remarks about this video, feel free to leave a comment. If the video was helpful for you, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your interest and see you next time.